it was like years. I wanted to work with Clay and just couldn't couldn't afford to. Sherelle Booker first discovered her love of ceramics in middle school. I was just so amazed by how, you know, you have one thing, it's like a pile of dirt, you know, that you're molding into something and when you put it into the kiln, it becomes something completely different. And I, I thought that was so cool. Booker, who has PTSD, was introduced to Project Onward in 2019. The nonprofit currently works with more than 60 adult artists with developmental disabilities or mental illness. This week, they celebrated the opening of a brand new 900 square foot ceramic sculpture studio, a floor above their main studio and gallery in the Bridgeport Arts Center. It's just kind of like a dream come true. I love working here. It's the, the whole vibe in the studio is one of happiness and creativity. Is that what you do on a bus? Nancy yeah. Gomez is executive director. She says a grant from the Virginia A. Groot Foundation will allow them to expand their program to more ceramic artists who will be able to access the new space and tools at no cost. The work created by Project Onward's artists is put up for sale in their gallery online and at global art shows. We do not charge the artists a dime to create their artwork here. And we provide them with all the space and the materials and guidance to create their art. And they get 50% and the other 50% goes into the studio. Providing a source of income and a visual voice for artists to share their perspectives without limitations. When you have a disability or you have PTSD or any mental illness, there's a lot of people telling you you can't do this, you can't do that. Being at Project Onward has made like a huge difference in my life. Just having people that not only care about your artwork, but care about you as a person, you know, and um, people that believe in you. You're doing a great job, I love it. In Bridgeport, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.